Let's go. Let's go now. We have to move fast. James Kofi Annan is about to save a boy's life. We are racing against time. The boy's parents have asked James to find their son and bring him home. James must reach the child before he can be hidden. The slaveholder refuses to let the boy go. But James doesn't give up. I'm very angry at people who are still holding children. Very, very angry at them. It's estimated that 4,000 children have been trafficked to the fishing boats of Lake Volta. They work long hours without pay and with little food. Many are forced underwater to untangle nets, and they're never seen again. They constantly feel they want to escape. James was enslaved here for seven years before managing to escape. What are you doing? He now does for others what he wanted someone to do for him. By rescuing others, I feel I'm rescuing myself. I feel that I'm correcting the injustice that was done when I was young. During the rescue, James works with village elders. He's firm but respectful. The strategy works. Elders release the boy when James threatens to call police. This child slave is headed to freedom. James has found and returned more than 75 children to their families in the past two years. He opened a shelter for survivors to recover and catch up on classwork. He credits the Freedom Awards for making this possible. The Freedom Award came with resources. It has helped us so much. Check on this, this voice. James says he raises 10 times more money each year now that he's known as a global expert and hero. The Freedom Award came with so much exposure. The Freedom Award has built my capacity to do what I'm doing better. James expanded his Challenging Heights school, where education protects kids from slavery. And he's helped one special child he couldn't forget. I wanted to go with James because I really wanted to get out of that place. James met Abeku while filming on Lake Volta with Free the Slaves two years ago. He was hit with a paddle, you know, in the hair. And this reminds me of my childhood when I used to work here. Abeku begged James to take him, but James had no shelter to care for him. After winning a Freedom Award, James went back. Now Abeku is free. He was seared with hot oil and hit with a paddle on the head. And this thing has affected his mind. It has affected how he behaves. It has affected him so much. Abeku's recovery will take time. Freeing child slaves is risky. When James helped police put traffickers behind bars, death threats began. He recorded some of the worst. Hello. Yes. I received not less than 30 death calls in a day. Ghanaian reporters had covered the Freedom Awards and hit the airwaves when they heard James was being threatened. The spotlight helped keep him safe. Despite the danger, James and his team continue to search for missing children. They let slaveholders know that someone is watching. We want to make as many friends as possible. And the more friends we make, the more difficult it becomes for the traffickers to operate. And now we're waiting for you. James hopes the children he rescues will grow up to rescue others. By 10 years' time, I should be able to have mentored other survivors 
who will then become the voice of others who are not yet free. They should be able to be the voices of those invisible children who are still enslaved.